All right, hello everyone. Yes, I am late as hell to this update. Um, I knew about it. I already checked it out. I just unfortunately hadn't had the time to make a video on it, but uh, I am going to today. So if you're watching this, thank you because you've probably already seen this. <laughs> uh, but I'll try to cover everything that I can. So of course, the main thing in this update that I, if if fifth, if fifth grade me had seen this, I would have had a heart attack. I actually wouldn't have been able to comprehend the absolute I mean just what this is this is kaiju sword beside remodel I have been asking and 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 just wanting kaiju sword remodel for probably about five years now and god if I had only known it was gonna take five years for this to come out was the wait worth it kinda yes and no not really I don't know I mean it, yes it's definitely the I'm gonna go ahead and say it it's the best skin in game in terms of animations, looks, and, and everything. The amount of effort put into this is insane. Um, that being said, best skin or game or not, I don't think anything is worth waiting five years for in Roblox. But you know what? At least it didn't disappoint because this was a skin that couldn't afford to disappoint. I will say I do kind of wish they kept the uh, original roars, but it doesn't look like they did. Uh, they it's also still a herbivore i wish it was carnivore honestly like i know they've done that with the zombie kamara this just seems like it should be a carnivore skin especially since it's a sauropod that can fly it seems a little op that it can just eat plants but whatever so a few unfortunate things about this guy is that uh everyone has this you know like this isn't a rare uh a, a rare thing at all. Uh, everyone has this guy. But... Oh, that's a good spawn. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, I mean, it, it's it's just insane. The flying animation is... It's exactly what you'd expect it to be. It's what you want it to be. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have a different one for sitting still. It, I think it's all the same, actually. Uh, why is it so foggy? Oh my god. Here's the attack. It's good. It, it does, Unfortunately, it doesn't have an alt attack. It's just kind of this, uh, but that's fine. Uh, I'll try to get down onto the ground here so we can actually get a better look at everything. Okay, so yeah, the idle animation is really good, just like all the new idols have been. You can see he does the classic animation here uh, that you'd seen in all the Godzilla movies and or the the new one. So this this is definitely based off of the new King Ghidorah. I wish it was based off of uh, Monster X, but it, unfortunately it isn't. Uh, but it honestly still looks like Monster X, so I think that's still pretty cool. Anyways, uh, so I'll get into the roar. And the growl. And the call. So, yeah, it's just about everything you'd want from this. And then you have the AoE, which I think is the best part of this. That is exactly what I was hoping they would do for the AoE, and they did it, so that's really good. Uh, and it's, it, it's it's well done, too. It doesn't look buggy at all. Like, the uh, lava acro spits out something, and you can see it go through the ground. This, it, it's done well. It's good. Uh, so here's the walk. It looks good. Unfortunately, the run is still kind of the same as the walk. I mean, I know it is different, but you'd wish this guy, like, was a little faster. Had, like, some, you know, it looks like he should be faster anyways, but I think it... It still suits it, and I understand, you know, it's a sauropod. It's, you can't make it any faster. So here's the drink. Pretty good, you know, no complaints, really. And then here is the eat. All right, so it's what you'd expect from it. It's a really good skin. I mean, it is it is really nice. Uh, no complaints. I Yeah, it's what we've all wanted for years, uh, at least in my opinion. You let me know in the comments below what you think about it, but... I'm satisfied with this. Definitely some good things coming out of the game, and I'm happy to see that we are no longer getting any more kind of just half-assed sort of skins. So since we're down here, I will now show you the Avianches remodel. Uh, this is definitely one of those remodels that you didn't think we needed it until you got it. Uh, it was one of those things that, you know, when I heard about it, I was a little surprised, but... I think it makes sense and I'm happy about it because 
of my uh, one of my previous videos, I had said that you know I don't really think AV inches is worth it, but I think this definitely helps with that. So it does look a lot like Scythe Slasher in terms of how it stands and everything. Here's the idle animation. It's that's probably the best animation that it has. It adds a lot of character to the skin. Uh, so here are the roars. That one, the growl. And the call. So, yeah. The roars aren't anything crazy, but the idol, as you can see, is really, really cool. The attack is, unfortunately, just like a simple bite. Uh, walk is really good, and here's a drink. Drink's also kind of subtle, and then a really good animation with this guy is the run animation. I mean, I think that's what really makes it look good. The original Avian Chest run was a little weird looking, so this is definitely really good. Uh, here's the AoE, which I think is really good as well. And then, of course, the Glide. Glide looks about the same, but you can actually see a distinct like animation in the tail and a little bit more animation in his uh, skin flappy thingies. <laughs> and I think he has more of that now on him too, which makes it look a little less ridiculous when he flies. But yeah, uh, for the most part, I'd say this is a really, really good remodel. This is definitely something that we needed. Moving on to another remodel here that is one I've been wanting for a long time because when they remodeled Wraith Mother originally, it was honestly kind of disappointing. Uh, so I was really upset about that years ago. And this is the Wraith Mother that we all wanted. So here's a better look at it. You can see this walk animation is absolutely insane. And then you have the run. Which is about the same, just sped up, but still looks really nice. The skin itself just looks absolutely disgusting, which is exactly what you'd want from this. I believe this has some inspiration from Xeno Queen, which is nice because we just got the uh, Xeno Trudon remodel or uh, Seal of Isis remodel. Uh, here's the AoE. I think probably its best animation. And then the attack is also really good. I like how he attacks with his little claws here too. Uh, I will say the worst thing about this is probably the roars because they don't really match up with this. I kind of wish they did custom roars for this guy just like they did with, as you can see down there, like I said, everyone plays as it, the Kaiju Soro. I think we definitely are going to need a few new really good remodels to come up so we can have people play as something else because I think right now these these models are just some of the best in game. Like They really outclass everything. so. Um, but here is the roar. So that one isn't as bad, and you can actually see and hear it pretty well. Here is the growl. So yeah, they're just really slow and not really fitting for the model, and then the call. So next we have another remodel that we also, again, didn't really think I need we needed, uh, is the Kaiju Titano. Uh, actually, I kind of take that back now. I never really liked the Kaiju Titano remodel. I thought that the animations were really mid. The uh, model wasn't the worst, but this is definitely more like Titanosaur. I mean, even from head on, it looks exactly like him. Uh, it does look a little weird from the side, but I believe this is based off some strange fan animation for Titanosaur. But here's the walk. It looks really good. I don't know what's up with sauropods having these very carnivorous skins. I don't know why there's so many of them. But uh, yeah, here's this uh, walk. And the run is a lot more fitting. This is kind of what I was hoping we would have for uh, Kaiju um, uh, Sora Poseidon. But I guess, you know, Sora Poseidon's really big. And you have his tail here, which is also a lot more accurate to the uh, kaiju itself and then here is the aoe really cool i like what they're doing with these aoe's having the colors around them and everything kind of wish he had the green uh thing that he had in godzilla unleashed here's the attack it's really simple but i guess you don't really need a crazy attack for this guy unfortunately he doesn't really use his tail in any of the attacks i guess he does a little bit in the aoe but here's the roar animation Looks really good. The growl. And the call. 
So the growl and the call are nothing like really cool. They're not like really loud roars, but I do think they pair really well with the animation that was given with it. The animation is really nice, and I do think the regular roar is honestly pretty loud enough to kind of be menacing and fit with what Kaiju Titanic kind of goes with. So you can't drink as Kaiju Titana, but you can swim. So here is the Kaiju Titana swim animation. And yeah, definitely. I mean, if you're looking at it from this position, you wouldn't even know that this is a actual uh, saur sauropod dinosaur. You would just think that it's the Kaiju. It definitely works a lot better. Uh, you can have him coming out of the water a little bit. So this one uh, is an omnivore, which is good. And here is the eating. Really good, yeah. Pretty straight to the point, and uh, I think it works really well. So moving on, we actually got new eggs. Uh, so I was talking about, I made a video on these um, skins uh, for the leak, at least, and I was curious on how they were going to implement them because I just kind of figured, you know, it was a, it was a little strange uh, to have these in the game because they are literally just remodels of dinosaurs when you really think about it, especially for Serato. Um, and even something like a Margosaurus too, and Merceraptor. But they are separate dinosaurs. Um, they are skins, but they are separate dinosaurs and will have their own kind of set unique abilities. And what I mean by that is specifically for Austra, <laughs> however the hell you say it, uh, it will be able to climb trees when they do implement that uh, again. And I'm actually really excited for that because I feel like it was really bad the first time. So I'm hoping that this time around it'll be better. But, uh, yeah, so I will go ahead and show you guys them. It isn't that hard to get the, um, the raptor. It, the raptor is actually easy. If anything, I got the raptor more than I got Serato and Packy when opening these eggs. They are really cheap. Uh, I don't know if they changed the price on them, but when I, I did them as soon as they came out, and they are really cheap. I'll be showing you the Ostra Valentinator, whatever the hell how you say it, uh, first, because it is my favorite. I love Marissa Raptor, and I feel like this is like, kind of like a Marissa Raptor remodel of some sort, even though, like I said, it is a different dinosaur. So this is made by Blame, who has some of the best animating skills ever, and he does animate some documentary. So yeah, we have documentary animations in a Roblox game. So the idol is really good. It's not doing too much. It is literally just a really nice idol. Uh, and you can see he has eyeballs. He has actual eyes that I think move. Uh, so yeah, very similar to like the Dunkleosteus. It has a lot of animation going on. So here is the walk. This guy's really cool. He has some like really big claw on the back of his foot here. And then the run, which I think is probably definitely one of the coolest running animations I've ever seen. Here's the attack, which is just really, really aggressive. Uh, and it's cool. It actually alternates. I didn't even notice that. So it is really, really nice. Uh, and then the AOE, which is, I think, very similar to the AV inches AOE, but probably animated a thousand times better uh really cool and then here is the roar the growl and then the call which is probably the best animation i've ever seen on a normal dinosaur in this game i mean pretty impressive if i do say so myself uh it is really cool and i think this guy is going to be even more uh, of an engaging uh, playable when they introduce the climbing. Here's the drink as well. Yet again, just I mean, it's it's uh, <laughs> the animations are beyond Roblox at this point. All right, so I managed to kill something here. So here's the eat. He kind of oh God, it's so hard to see it's dark in here, but he kind of picks it up with his claws. It's really cool. It took a real long time to find the food. Uh, I was trying to find a snack originally, but I found this guy. So yeah, the uh, animation is really, really good. All right, so here we have the crossover packy. The walk is actually really nice on this guy. And here's the run. I don't really like a lot of the, uh, well, I'll show you here. So here's the idol, which is actually really good. And then the attack, which works pretty well. Here is the roar. <laughs> And I just don't really like how his mouth is so wide, it, it, or, yeah, it, it just looks really weird. Uh, he has, like, no, I don't really know what they call that, but the gum part that most dinosaurs usually have. Here's the growl. Sounds like a goat. 
And that was the call. And then here is your AOE. Okay, and here we have the Serato. Uh, yes, I did have to wait about 30-ish minutes before I could record this because I didn't have this thing at adult. So here it is. It has this cool like yawn idle. I mean, it's okay. It's, it's nothing great. Uh, here is the roar. Pretty cool. Uh, it does some weird buggy thing with the legs here. I don't know what's going on with that. Here's the growl and the call. So yeah, really cool. I will say probably has some of the better roar animations out of the rest of them, except for the raptor. Uh, then here's the AOE. Pretty cool that it utilizes its horns there. Here's the walk and the run, which is pretty good. <laughs> you just look a little silly, but, and the bite. Which it looks like it does alternate directions, maybe? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it did. Um, but yeah. So that is it for this video, guys. That is everything that they added in Dinosaur Simulator as of recently. Uh, so it looks like we're probably going to be getting updates about every Friday. Um, but I don't know. It seems to be a little like sporadic because we did get that one update that made everything limited on Monday. But who knows? Uh, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.